It's a scary scene on the PCH in Malibu as cell phone video caught these tiny bikes, creating a big problem. Riders performing stunts, blocking traffic, and scaring drivers. But at this garage in Compton, these young people say, just let them ride. I promote a mini bikes because it's a way of life. And like growing up, this is what kept me out of trouble and kept me safe. This was my safe haven. Where are we at? What are we doing? We right here. We have both mini bikes, man. We in Compton, California. Most the shop owner, so man, you got his What's going on? I'm famous. Thanks. Mini bike, Tommy. Oh, we nice to meet you. My name is Tommy. Where'd you guys come from right now? I, I just came from Go Power Sports and down in Texas. You yeah. came far. I actually lived in Long Beach for the last five years, though. So, real quick, I just want to give some context to this video. At the time of filming this video, I had only been with Go Power Sports for about two weeks. I have no experience with mini bikes or go karts, but I do have a background in filmmaking, which is why I was brought onto the team. I had to make my way back down to Long Beach to pick up a few things and bring them back here to Texas. While I was down there, I decided to meet with Day Day, who is also a filmmaker and someone I had met on Instagram. He showed me the shop, and the rest is history. Enjoy the video. Yeah, we're gonna show him a good time. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna ride this when I ride over there. I'm gonna have this on the back end. Like, yeah, you give me this fly. Oh, this so, Tori, right here, we got a merchandise wall where we usually sell all our pipes and our gaskets. You know, we usually have our tires and rims. We're waiting on our, you know, next shipment of inventory to come in. And then over here, we got the workstation, all the fast bikes, big blocks, go karts, you know, we do it all. We got a motor actually over there that runs off E85. So, right here, we got a 28 flat side, I believe, Makuni. Running on E85, you know, I got a fuel pump, you know, custom jets. Actually, yeah. we got another bike that's on E85 too. Let me go grab it for you real quick. Okay. This motor actually runs off E85 too. We just got it sitting right here. We usually bring it out on Sundays, but we're gonna bring out some different bikes, some real fast bikes. I'm gonna show you right now. This is built by Big Daddy Motorsports itself. Tillerson, 3 inch Stoker, um, 28 Makuni, Renault Alki M5 Race Fuel. So. We're gonna see what we can do. We're gonna try to win some money. We're How far is uh, the race from here? It's literally like maybe 10 minutes. Okay. So it's not far from the shop. We're pretty local. That's around BDMS. Compton. Welcome to the shop, yo. Yeah. Stop it, relax. Like That's Roku. That's the mask. That's our, our backup. I've been racing for maybe five years. I got my first mini bike in eighth grade. So I had a little Joe's with a little Briggs and Stratton on it. Nothing too, you know, crazy. But no. We're doing three inch strokers <laughs> on M5 doing 90 plus passes. We got some more people coming too, but. But this is this is like the circle circle, like the yeah. tight circle. The people that are here on the daily, you know, consistently be out here. He's the one that I told you he, he bought the bike off me and everything. We're gonna start it up real quick. I'm gonna get the start bike. This is the go to bike that everybody gets this built. You know, they all go all cast here, cast block, the five inch in the back slick. That's where everybody runs out here. A few people run size six, but everybody six is a five. This is this is what got you going. Mini bikes is pretty much everyday flow. So we really into this and you see my boy Tommy, he tricked this out, triple chrome, everything from the boats. The washers, the spacers, like. Well, I've been riding since I was like a little kid, since I was four. So since my dad had a prosthetic leg, we couldn't play like soccer or catch with us. So anything we did had to do with a motor. I love to work on them. Like I don't build nothing crazy, but I love to like put them together, keep them clean, go out and have fun. In the racing scene, I've been in it for a year almost. But I went at it hard. As soon as I got in, I built like about 13 bikes. He over there working on the bike now. <laughs> <laughs> I try to get the real bike. It's not being too nice. There we go. <laughs> that took a lot of energy out. Hey man, we trying to win a lot of money. And bring me a uh, size five tire, please. Um, 
Tommy don't let anybody touch his bike. <laughs> yeah, I'm picky. I'm picky, honestly. Tommy, a lot of people messing up your stuff. I'm like, I've been seeing a lot of like mini bike videos out there in um, Detroit, Detroit, mm -hmm. Michigan. Because my uncle lives in Detroit, so I've been wanting to take a bike over there and see what I could do. So I asked Daddy if he could get a hold of anybody out there because I would love to go out there as well. Oh, so I'm scared of planes. Oh, are you? So you want to fly? So that, that's really interesting because th these things go what? These things yeah. are what? Ten miles under, a hundred miles per hour? Yeah. Like, like like eight times out of ten, you're gonna be alive once you fall. Like an airplane, ten out of ten, you're not gonna survive. <laughs> <laughs> There's no beating that one. This one got a little plate here, if you can tell. Yeah. So you know, just wiggle. simple maintenance like this is what makes the bike. Like we could have never checked this. Go out there and we we'll lose the race. Just over the rockers, not knowing you did me. You got a stock one he can try out. He's never gone anybody. You never rode a meter bike? No, he's never. <laughs> <laughs> don't get overconfident about the throttle. Okay. And then get yeah, the don't brake whiskey down. throttle it. Yeah, brake, yeah. yeah, play around with it a little bit. Okay. And then just um, the brake is just put your foot down and that's it. Just foot down? Yeah, put your foot down. No, on the brake. On the, on the, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was no, like, no, oh, cool. Yeah, just not, to trap my foot right under. Not Flintstones okay. brake. <laughs> put, your, put your foot on the brake. Okay. Yeah, I'm nervous for him. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Pretty good though, I'm not gonna lie. I think you hit like seven miles an hour. Yeah, yeah I know. It's going, <laughs> it was going right. pretty damn fast. You licked him, right? Yeah. Hey, Rod. Nope. Oh, yeah, he's like, I can't get into another thing. <laughs> this gets expensive, like, you mix. If yeah. you really go all out, you'll be in six to seven grand on a fully race bike. Yep. This is Boats. Father, Mr. Boats, he does yeah, all the, the welding, yeah, welding fabricating on all the frames and everything. So, yeah, that's oh, and the big wheel bike, yeah. go, go show them the big wheel bike. I think all, all the parties are coming okay, from yeah. Go power. So, sprocket, bearing, bearing. How long have you been working on mini bikes? Oh, I was working when I was. Uh, 14 years old, something and you never forget. Okay, well I'm Boats, Junior Boats. My dad is Mr. Boats. For daddy, it's been a lifetime thing. For me, it started like probably like a year or two ago. I always wanted a mini bike, but I never had one. Uh, my parents thought it was like, like, oh, they didn't want me riding motorcycles. And then I, we bought one, and then my dad told me we could make him. At the beginning, we were just making frames. I needed bike parts to, to sell like complete bikes. So I ended up talking to the company, just setting everything up. Started selling it, I started making money, and I just kept on doing it. Yeah, are you racing too, or? No, I don't race. I don't. I crash, bro. I, mean, <laughs> I already crashed like five times on stock bikes. Really? Yeah, right here down this block. So I'm good. I don't. I don't be riding. But you like building them? I mean, who doesn't like messing with mini bikes? It's it's, it's fun. You meet a lot of people too. It's, it's it's like a dream job, basically. You need to film this one on the Bo Junior, can you tell me about where we're at? It's right in front of Bo's, like you just, just cross the street. Every weekend they have, they have make the tortillas and everything. See, I eat this every weekend. How long have they been doing that? ¿Cuánto tienen haciendo? Like four years. Aquí está la quesadilla, eh? Gracias. Yes. All right, so uh, today changed up real quick. What happened? Uh, well, we was, you know, getting ready to go to the races and whatnot. And my boy Danny calls me like, yo, Mark just crashed the banshee. In the corner, bro. Come outside with me. All right. Can I hop in? Yeah, come on. He's turning around being a loser. She works out. What happened? He fell off the banshee. <laughs> There. And everything just happened so fast, you know. So we arrived on scene, you know, the banshee flipped over next to a tree and a gate and a van. And it's not looking too good. Um, just keep it 
Well, I know he's gonna be good. He, he gonna pull through this, you know. He was speaking to us when he was leaving, mm -hmm. even at the mini bike races, like stuff like that happens, you know. And that's why safety and precautions and gear is so necessary when we're doing such a dangerous sport like this. You ready, Daddy? Do you ride too? Nah, I don't ride. Yeah. I used to ride, but I don't ride. We're going to the Compton, everybody. Man, mini bike's not a crime. Sunday fun day, you know what I mean? Doing our mini bike go-kart thing. I've been coming to the mini bike races since I was about seven or eight. So it's, it's been going on way before me. Come here, OG. OG right here is a big significant factor in the scene. Like my, my guy right here 14 and be racing going 90 plus. No problem for Appreciate it. My neighbor asked me to be a uh, padrino to his son. So I bought him a mini bike so he would get outside more. And then, you know, you gotta ride with him. You can't just let him go by himself. But I've had it since 18. Wow. It's one best in show a couple times. I'm finna have a race, heavyweight versus heavyweight. My bike against new bike over here. Check it out. Um, he heavy, I'm heavy. He's the only one down the race out here. We don't get down to a heavyweight race. Right. Then after this, we're gonna do jockey to jockey. Hey! Big races go down, big money tournaments, shootouts, drag racing, and everything. This is where you either leave broke or you leave a little extra cash in your pocket. Yeah, you yeah, might yeah, leave. Moving, moving around just in case we have to go. 
We come out here to be positive and race. A yeah. race is a race. No matter how many loses and how many wins, at the end of the day, you still did it. You still got out there. You still raced. You still won. You at still did. Yeah, yeah, you still always somebody to do. faster. The bike did yeah. what it had to do. You yeah. win something, you lose something. You know, we started off with a bad day for Mark. You know, yeah. so it's good. It is what it is. I know. It is. Appreciate y'all coming out, man. Yeah, yeah. We'll be back though for more, cause I mean, there's so much more to this. Yeah.